my buddy Dan there, he uh, is going to be picking up a, a stretcher shrinker and a, probably a bead roller, maybe. I don't know if he's doing that right away or not. But he doesn't have a stand. So, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to modify, this is a Model A axle tube. Uh, and we're just going to make a universal stand that is he buys tools because now he's limited in his shop for space. So we're going to make one stand that you can stab in and out universal tools in. So it's kind of, he can start hanging stuff on his wall and his shop won't look so cluttered there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use, this as the base. That's the idea. Uh, I'm going to have a tube set up at whatever, a certain height here to uh, let me interchange tools on it. So I have a piece of uh, some, t I don't even know what this is. All I know is 2x2 two two fits inside of this thing. So, uh, well, cool. you'll have to trust me on that, it does. And it's not so cruddy. There you go. Anyways. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to lob this off, we're going to give this a good sturdy base because if you're using a stretcher shrinker and you got to stomp your foot, you don't want that thing falling over. So, we're going to start with a good base and then we're going to modify this to a good height to whatever I feel normally my tools and stuff should be and uh, then you have a whole bunch of universal pegs that you can just pull out and drop in. So yeah, let's get started. Well, I found some of these heavy rods outside of my scrap pile. Uh, looked like that might have been a rail or something for whatever. But it's probably about an inch by two. And it's just solid, so it's pretty heavy. So I'm going to zap that to the frame. And then later we'll cut these short and then we can use it under here as a support and zap it into there. Now we should have a pretty strong base, uh, like it won't be side to side, but that doesn't matter too much. It's more when you're pulling on the front or stepping using a stretcher shrinker that it doesn't pull against you. I think it'll work. Okay, I'm just cutting this. This is going to be the extension that we'll make the uh, removable pieces in. And then, uh, yeah, this is just extra stuff for me. Alright, I cut the piece. But she don't fit. Uh, it's pretty close. So I'm going to try the brute force method. I'm just going to try to beat it on there and we'll see if that works. So, because this has uh, a little stuck, it'll be easier when something's bolted on top. But because there's a little, because this has uh, got a seam in it, I just had to just grind a little bit of a bevel in there so she'll pop in. So anyways, that pops in. We're going to weld our plates on there. So, I don't know, we can put a vise on here. The idea is we're going to make a bracket for his stretcher shrinker. We'll make a, a make a plate for it, and then this thing can be a stretcher shrinker. You can pull this off. You can throw in uh, a bead roller. You can take that off. 
Um, I don't know if he gets a shear, you can put a shear in there. Uh, just stuff like that. But it's kind of pretty streamlined, so you can tuck this against the wall. All the attachments, he'll be able to hang on the wall. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I think this will work. I'm thinking it's a little high, but that's easy to fix. You can just cut that. All right, we are working on that stretcher shrinker stand or attachment. What I got to do is cut this out on the table here. Yet this is going to be for the stretcher shrinker. This will be the first attachment we're going to make on there. Here's step one we came up with. So this is the plate I cut on the table. Just punch some holes in there. Uh, this is gonna go on here, we will burn it. We just have to make the leg extensions, similar to that one over there. And then these will just bolt on to the top. All right, so we got the uh, Stretch your shrinker on the stand. It's removable, but I can't lift it with one hand, so you'll have to take my word for that. It's much easier when I do it. But. <laughs> and then now Dan's just working on the lower step. Just going to notch these out, and then we'll put a, a bolt through for the foot stomp. We got one side done. You can see the nice uh, swinging action of the pedal there. It's pretty cherry. Works good. Almost looks nicer than mine. <laughs> A few grease things on this one, maybe, or something like that. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> now we just got through the same on the other side. You can pretty sure see this pedal, spring, rod goes to the top. They don't quite have the same amount of rod, but we can fix it. We got some more stuff. We can make stuff happen here. So, here we are, the first of uh, many of Dan's attachments we're going to make. So, like I say, this thing does remove. I don't have a pin in there, but this, technically all we got to do is pull this bolt out. This will just unscrew, pedals drop, or not so much, but, and uh, you pop top off, and we'll make the next extension, like the next adapter for it which, I don't know, I've been showing him a bunch of junk, so he might actually have many different attachments to work for. Uh, but, yeah, it goes in. It does everything mine does. It almost actually works like, I feel it works way better than mine does. I don't know if it's the added weight on the handle that does it or not, but that's mine. This one seems to work way better. Maybe because it's newer? I don't know. But, regardless, Super cool. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's going to be it for maybe this video. But uh, there may be more, more pieces to this as the time goes on, as we make different extensions, adapters there for Dan. Uh, yeah. Thanks for checking this out. I'll uh, see you guys in the next round.